All right, welcome to our second ever SwingCast podcast. My name is Dr. Scott Lynn. I'm the research director for Swing Catalyst, and we're here with Martin, uh, one of our ambassadors from Germany. Uh, he's a club fitter and swing coach, and I don't want to butcher your last name, Martin. Tell, tell us your last name again. Yeah, well, uh, we pronounce it Martin Stecher. Nice. Uh, that's what it's pronounced <laughs> in German language, yeah. <laughs> that's not how I would have done it, so I'm glad I let you do that yourself. That's perfect. All right, so Martin has been uh, using a Swing Catalyst product. You've had the balance plate for a couple of years? Yeah, for four years, yeah. Four years, and he's just upgraded to the motion plate, so now he has all the 3D forces. Um, and he's also got a lot of other fun toys in his uh, bag of tricks there. So you have your gear system to measure the kinematics, um, launch monitors, all the good stuff that you need to uh, fit clubs and, and to be a swing coach. So. What we're going to do today is Martin's going to go through some swings and just talk about how he uses the Swing Catalyst and, and maybe how you integrate Swing Catalyst with gears would be a really interesting uh, topic yeah. for us to yeah. see. Awesome. Uh, do you have a, a swing available or do you want to set it up for us? Yeah, I've got a swing available here. So um, I will switch now to my desktop. I've got a swing from called Martin Donato. Um, he's, he's a uh, PGA teaching pro here. Okay. Uh, Right around the corner, played on the Challenge Tour and Nike Tour years ago, uh, but now uh, he's uh, teaching. That's Perfect. it. And Perfect. of course, loves golf and play tournament golf, but uh, <laughs> not making money with that. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so if you just okay. share your screen with us, let's have a look. Oh, there I am, big, minimize me there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we got here the. Uh, swing when we started. Uh, okay. Let's just let me show you the swing here. Okay. Just let you can see what he's doing. Sure. That's it. You see the foresight GC2 here, and yeah. all the, we have the trackman yeah. data here. We're using both uh, in conjunction, especially indoors, getting better measurements with that one. Perfect. So when we started here, just to highlight a few things uh, first. Uh, going to the launch monitor data, uh, it's 159 total, uh, yes, yes. 152 meters, one, carry. 152 meters carry. Okay. Uh, we use a seven iron for that one, and we start with a club speed uh, about 85 miles per hour. Okay, and what uh, I look at it, the forces there, I notice there's a lot of glide or a lot of linear force or the horizontal force there, right left force. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the torque is about bottom of the tour average, it looks like. And, and what we yeah. see, the really interesting thing is that vertical force there, the, the double peak in that vertical force. So there's a really yeah. low amount of vertical force before impact, and the actual mm -hmm. main peak comes after impact. Uh, yeah, well, that's a bit the landing of that. Right. We can see that uh, in his case, and we worked just about one hour on uh, his swing. Okay. So... When we started, uh, he chose to use 43 centimeters uh, from the feet. Yeah. And the left uh, feet is about maybe 5 to 10 degrees open, not more right. than that. Okay. And we, uh, we, we worked with that then uh, in the following session. And as you see here with the peak vertical force, it's 128. Uh -huh. That's it, going to 99 newton meters here. Right. And a lot here. So, uh, show you the swing after we've done a few analyze that. Okay, Still so you made him a little wider, it looks like. Yeah, four centimeters wider okay. and uh, more angle. The left foot is uh, okay. 25 uh, degrees. Uh, what that has done for him is uh, that it added a lot of torque going to 113 from Perfect. 99. Yeah, so generally flaring the foot will do that for you. If you add a flare to the foot, that will add yeah. more rotational force on the ground. Good. And second, of course, what's going uh, a lot better. So he started to using the left leg more, Right. going to 142 here. And then we have really, you see the heel coming up and then coming down. So that's the peak from, from landing and right. not a still double. Okay. Yeah, peak like that, and that helps, and that creates a uh, yeah, different see this. data. And we'll oh wow, 172 total. Going to the data 
here going to the launch monitor you see 172 so more than 10 meters 159 130 meters wow and and club head speed went up uh, four miles per hour. Wow, that's, that's great. 89. So, uh, yeah, and not that, bad for one hour work. <laughs> right, and that is just through setup modifications. Did you tell them to do anything different during the swing? Yes. Uh, mainly, it's it's just getting the feel uh, about that and uh, start rotating more. Right. What that's doing, I can show you the uh, we we captured then the club with the gear system. I will sure. show you that uh, soon. Um, but what he's also doing is when, when we look down the line, uh, we are using uh, more left side bend, introduced that for him. Uh, so before he's very upright with his shoulders, but then we, before it was more like that, and then we go a bit more like that. Okay. Uh, just show you the direction, the general thing. It's a bit less than that one, but he felt to getting a bit more crunched here. Uh, so he can start working uh, more in that one. And that together, yeah, mainly the, the feet and Good. the positioning of that one, uh, we added this four miles per hour. Perfect. And you got uh, a lot of vertical force added there too. And it looks like he's really loading yeah. in the ball of his foot there. So if you if you go a little further forward, you'll notice where the pressure uh, loads into the ball of the foot. You can leave it on this view. That's perfect. Yeah. And just go a little further forward. So you see where that load is right there. That's where the vertical force comes from. You see that he's in yeah. the ball of both feet and that's where you're going to jump from. That's where you're going to create a lot of vertical and then force. Perfect. Yeah, the dog swing going to that one. That's great. So let's see the, the, the club information. That would be very interesting. Yeah, so what we got here with the gear system, uh, we captured uh, the swings um, uh, before and after, two swings. Uh, and when we go back to the club data here, 85.5 uh, miles per hour, mm -hmm. and going here to 90.9. Wow. So nine miles per hour, and uh, with the setup when we started here, you see also the hand path uh, changed a lot. Uh, the same ball position for both swings. Mm -hmm. Going back, and we we can see for sure that the after swing uh, has positioning of the upper body is different. So a lot less uh, sway with the upper body. Sure. So he's a lot uh, narrower. So he's not swinging off the ball yeah. quite as much. Yeah. Okay. And in the downswing, just at the, going a bit down here, uh, for sure we can see that the uh, leg is different. Right. Uh, here, going down, 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 down. And uh, that creates the extra speed. That's interesting. And it, it also looks like his uh, path, club path, has changed quite a bit. He was a four and a half in and yeah. out and he, he got him to 0.9 so basically zeroed him out on the on the club yeah. path which yeah um, yeah with, with good players that'll save him from big hooks i'm guessing yeah yeah the, the big miss is uh, less than before maybe yeah. a slight pull whatever but uh, not very much yeah. he's a very accurate sure. player uh but uh yeah needs more distance right. uh, Perfect. And I think the vertical forces can help you do that. It can help pull that path in a little bit further to the left and, and keep it from going a little further to the right. So that may be a, a function of adding both the torque and the vertical that, that might have created that change in, in the path of the club. That's fantastic. Yeah, so that's just a short example of what's possible in uh, one hour uh, when we got the system and can measure that, give accurate feedback about what really happens in the swing. And uh, that's a great, great addition. It wasn't was not possible doing that with a trackman or with the foresight or whatever, even with gears. Uh, of course, we see then the effect and can measure exactly. He didn't feel having more lag, but when when I showed him that on the gear system, uh, uh, he was very impressed. Uh, oh, that's awesome! To, to awesome. see that, well, so we can so verify much. that. Right. Thank you so much for sharing this with you uh, with us. Um, we just want to let's switch back here. Can you put your face back up there, Martin? So we'll. Yeah, we'll do. We'll there do. we go. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. There we are. All right. So Martin and myself and Bernie Najar will be running a seminar at your place in Nuremberg, Germany, uh, July 31st and August 1st. So July 31st will be mainly a lecture day where uh, Bernie and I yeah. are going to go through the level two swing catalyst content. Um, and, and then the, the August 1st day is a practical day where we're going to get to play with the gear system, the swing catalyst system, and, 
and play with a whole bunch of swings. And I, I really like those days because we get to learn a lot. And I've actually never done one where we've actually fired up a gear system or a, a kinematic-based system with the swing catalyst. So yep. I'm really interested to to play around with it a little bit and see, you know, by changing the ground reaction forces, how do we change hand path? How do we change all those things that, that the cool gear system will give you? So I'm really excited for that seminar um, and to get to Germany. Hopefully we survive the Autobahn on our way down from uh, Hamburg. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drive uh, fast, <laughs> but I guess you will. <laughs> we will. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Martin. And we will see you in a couple, uh, about a week or so in Germany. Yeah. We will do. Thank Thanks you, Scott. so much. Take care, man. Take care. Bye-bye.